Question 25 asks students to distinguish between anxiety and arousal in terms of the effect on performance. This was worth four marks. We go and have a look at our glossary first of all. Distinguish means to recognize or note, indicate as being distinct or different from, or to note differences between. So what are the differences between anxiety and arousal in terms of its effect on performance? We just can have a look at our syllabus for a second. There's anxiety and arousal there in our core two. And look at the learn two over here. Explain the difference between anxiety and arousal in terms of the effect on performance. That's word for word, except for our key term being distinguished, which we, we now know is they need to be able to show the differences between the two, which is what it's asking there, which is probably why distinguish is being put in. Have a look at this answer here. Distinguish between anxiety and arousal in terms of its effects on performance. So, first of all, anxiety can be a state or trait. State is, is when pressure is put on the athlete by himself, whereas trait is externally placed. Um, anxiety is caused by stress and may negatively affect an individual's performance, for example. So, again, examples in there to support. So, what's, what's a good part of the answer here is he's been able to go through and explain or actually show the difference between anxiety and arousal but using examples to support what he's been trying to say. So there's been a clear difference between anxiety and arousal in terms of its effect on performance. Um, it says here, even though examples were not really that necessary, are a good way to illustrate understanding in this question. Overall, students used examples to illustrate the differences in types of anxiety and performance very, very well. So the example part was great. Recognize the differences level, that different levels of arousals are required for optimal performance in different sports. As you can see by the answer here, you can have a read through that. However, students struggle with acknowledging that anxiety is a psychological response and arousal is a physiological response. So there's some, just some key terminology there, one being psychological and one being physiological that students really struggle with. And you need to get the terminology in to show to the market that you're able to go to that higher level and you have a higher level of understanding in this area. So again, it's another question that's come directly straight from the syllabus. Anxiety arousal, the difference between the two, that's what distinguishes, and what effect it has on performance.